back in the West Loop neighborhood here in Chicago, Illinois. A brand new spot. It's only been open a few weeks. Mediterranean Crave Kebab. I'm craving it right now, this moment. I want it. They got gyro, shawarma, falafel, hummus, the whole gambit. We're gonna see what they're cooking up. We're gonna grab some stuff. See you guys when we get there. Let's see what this spot's all about, Corey. Stoked. Ready? Euros. Now. They've got like 12 tables here, all this bar seating. I'm upstairs, like above the restaurant. You could fit like a whole football league up here. <laughs> if you want to throw your football league a party, you know. And a lot. Number six, which... Yeah. Let me show you this. Yeah, one. yeah. Right now he's doing the kebabs. Oh, I see. But if it. you yeah. want, I could have him bring out a, a, a skewer and have him, you know, start stacking up the shawarma if you want. Oh man. Damn, man. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Proud of that work right there. That's amazing. They gave Corey hummus. Look at this. This is the best hummus I've ever had in my really? life. Really? It's so good. You gotta try it. All right. I gotta do this. Dude, he's telling us how this recipe. Oh my god, all these oils. Get out of here. So good, right? When you have hummus like that, how are you gonna have Sabra ever again? I know, this is so It ruins good. grocery store, which you know, I get it, make it your own, but sometimes you don't have time. Right? Oh my God, dude. That's insane, insane. Mm. Falafel. Cheers. You want a regular first, or you want a dippy first? Oh man. Look at that. Mm. That's Corey's head now. Oh my God. That's really good. I'm gonna go a little in the hummus. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I think of all the bad Mediterranean mm -hmm. I've had now. Like when you go to a place like that does it like this, you start to realize it's so there's good. cut rate Mediterranean out there. Also, if you eat all these, you speak a little more Greek. Oh. Check this out. Looks insane. So fresh. Mm. So fresh. Dude, are you having the best time? I love Mediterranean food so much. I want to dip everything I've ever eaten in this hummus. This or, or Italian would be my two favorite food genre. I love food. I'm so glad food exists. Thank you, food. No thank you enough, food. Sorry. Not remotely sorry. Mm. They mm. flavor this perfectly. And you the know they're seasoning, by hand. Oh yeah. The seasonings, temperature is perfect, the crispiness of the outside is very fluffy on the inside. That's so good. Very artistic as well. It's artistic, also just doing it on this like weapon. Cool. Just like a spear. Yeah, that's a spear. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, with here, the man, Sam, general manager of Crave Kebab. We came in with the idea of doing our yo. He goes, no, let's do shawarma today. Yeah. And we said, yeah, My obviously. Shawarma is yeah. the way to yeah. go. Oh, Sam, yeah. give the quick the give go. the quick pitch about this place. Like what is what is so great? Like, where's your passion lie? I love to cook. We love to cook. Everything here is authentic. Yeah. Um, it's not going to get any better than this. Everything is made from scratch. We want to bring our table to yours. It's, 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 this man, he didn't want to be on camera. Uh, how, I mean, come on, this guy's a natural. natural. All right. Dude, Sam, thank you so much, man. This is uh, homemade here every morning. Okay. And you guys are ready to, to, to come in here and, and, show, and show you guys how, to, how we make it from scratch. Yeah, we'll do that next time. Let me know. We love to stop. This is going to knock your socks off. I'm uh, telling you right yeah. now. It's homemade baklava, yeah. Dude, thanks so much. <laughs> guys, enjoy. Dude, thank you. Thank you, guys. Dude, it was great meeting you. So much. Guys, thank you so much. Seriously. You're all very you're gentlemen and scholars. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Even better, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. See you guys. Uh,
I knew there was some baklava coming. I could feel it in my bones. <laughs> Haven't even eaten the main dish yet, but I can already say, top dog in the hospitality game, oh Crave God. Kebab wins yeah. all the points. Oh, customer service. Oh my so God, amazing. Sam, the whole crew, everybody, ugh. People like that, man, I love it. I love living here for that. Shawarma from Crave Kebab, acquired. Now let's do a legit food review, jump cut. Chicken and steak, man, did I learn a lot about how that's made. I did not know, apparently, before. I think one's chicken, one's steak. The nicest human beings cutting this into the perfect little halvesies. Complete gentlemen. I'm blown away. Crave Kebab crew, you're doing the right thing. I wish you nothing but success because I have a feeling this is gonna be straight up nuts. The hummus was crazy, falafel was crazy. I bet we about to be triple crazy, dude. Triple crazy, baby. I like you, but you're crazy. Steak shawarma, a wrap. Yes, sir. Cheers, West Loop, thanks for having them. Mm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. It's all about the juices for me. Oh. Top notch juices. Oh my goodness. Gosh darn. Looks like we got a little lettuce in here. Half chicken, half steak. So we're trying both. Yeah. You got like onions, tomatoes, that uh, sauce in there. What is it? Tahini? What do they call that? I think so. Steak is mm. stupid good. Yeah. Juices are on point. Wow. Oh, they do a great job. The presentation, food, the prices are really good. It is a very affordable, high-end Mediterranean place. Like, you're not gonna break the bank having lunch there. Mm. They're in such good location. They're right by the United Center, right across the sidewalk from Billy Goat Tavern in the West Loop. All these festivals this summer, having Blackhawks and Bulls, like, later on in the year. Dude, they're gonna clean up. Oh yeah, that's probably the best place. If you're trying to go see a Bulls game, you're trying to go see a Blackhawks game, this is probably the best place to go get some food. Yeah. You going to Pitchfork this year? Leave Pitchfork, Especially go here. How expensive food is yeah. at United Center? No. A Euro is $7. A fraction of the cost. You come down here and get a mate. better food, probably, I guarantee better food than you get in the United Center. Yeah. Just look at the freaking meats. You guys saw how they make that. Marinate the meat mm. for two days. I take it out there, they form the cone, they shape it. My mind, I can't, I can't I can't keep saying it enough to you guys. My mind's blown. That is so good. Mm. You gotta try that chicken. Look at that. Oh, and they got nice paper too. Wax paper with the aluminum paper? Yeah, not just aluminum. Both. That's what the standard losers would do. Yeah, losers. They always like to take it up a notch. They do tin foil, obviously keep the warp thin. Mm -hmm. Wax paper mm. because it's just a cleaner, nicer looking way to present the food. Smart presentation and practicality. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again because dude, I took a bite of this. The chicken's really good. Game over. It's so good. That I you died. would hang up the phone on it. <laughs> I think. So they like, they're so awesome and like just historically nice mm -hmm. that Sam gave us an un unedible amount of food. Like, I mean, it'll get eaten. I'm gonna take it home, I'm gonna slam it, but I'm not gonna be able to eat it all on camera. Should we take a bite so that I can be like, bro, this is unbelievable. Of the uh, other one? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, it's a pita. Cool. I just want to take a bite. I'm Me not too. gonna. I'm gonna save the rest. Oh, it's of this like one of those little pockets. It all home. fits. It all fits in there. It's like this a little is what pocket. actual pitas look like. Yeah, dude. This in is... the real life, in the real world. In the real world. Oh my god! Look at it. It's like a frisbee cloud. Oh my god! I live here now. This is where I reside. Oh mm. my god! The bread. Wow. The bread's amazing. That sauce. It's unreal. Whoa. The consistency, the texture, the spices, it's done perfectly. Wow. Mm. And this is even better. It is. So much better than one bite. Mm-hmm. Said that in my head, and I took a bite, and then my taste buds were like, you're an idiot for thinking you're gonna get away with eating one bite of this. Keep on chomping, big guy. Hey, big guy, keep shopping. Chomping. <laughs> Why don't you clean the fat out of your ears? If you can't get the fat out of your ears and listen, then why am I here? I gotta get That's new, a clip. I gotta get new ears. That's a clip. Get the fucking fat out of okay. your ears! You know what? I'm not that fat! <laughs> I'm what one would call a happy camper. And I'm just slamming vegetables up in there. There's a, been a ton of vegetables on these. I'm eating them like it's nothing because that's when you use quality ingredients. I like it. I just don't like garbage fast food vegetables because they don't use quality ingredients. Dude, I live across the street. How am I not gonna go here all the time? All the time. I'm just guessing. But I feel like they liked me okay. I, okay. I'll, I know, I'll no, agree with that. Bro. I know what you really want to say. Here, oh, I turned the camera off. They didn't like you, there's no way. I saw, every time you would turn around, he kept looking at me and going, what's this guy's deal? Did he really? He was mouthing, what's this guy's deal? Come on. And I'm going, I don't know, he's, I just let him go, he gets good footage. It's fine. He came over when he popped out back, you were still- Yeah, I turned the camera back on. <clears throat> yeah, but he probably liked you. That's good. Can I get some of that baklava? 
Well, out of five cones of meat, you actually you know what? Perfect chance to use cones of Dunshire. I mean, obviously this would be much taller in the real game. Out of five cones of Dunshire, how many cones of Dunshire do you give the shawarma from Crave Kebab in the West Loop? That's easy. That's a five. That was no joke. I'm, Toledo prides themselves in their Mediterranean food. The, our Toledo fans are gonna know. Detroit's a big uh, Mediterranean. Detroit hub is. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, I thought I knew good hummus because a lot of people like hummus, but that garbage, that grocery store stuff, it, it, it's good. But it's, I mean, compared to real hummus, right. this is the best hummus I've ever had. That falafel Hot take. was the best falafel I've ever had. Yeah. All of their food is absolutely unbelievable. If I, it's got to be a five. If I was gonna take all of out of all of that and like pick one item that I would get, I think I gotta go with that pita little pocket thing. Pita pocket. Yeah. I think you're 100% right. Five out of five. Just come here. I just can't stress it up. And I, let's tell them we were not paid to make this video. No. That's I just... feel like this is a very like over the top Homer video. They just we walked in right. there and they gave us all that access to like you guys check this it out might seem all like... of that footage none of that was predetermined at all no. I, did, I felt like That's today i should love of the, say that. love of the buds love of the taste buds love of the tbs so five for you for dessert let's try this baklava okay hold on oh baklava was it a baklava song baklava Baklava for me. I like how baklava is just so layered. I know. Just like layers and layers, dude. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, is that sugary? Mm. This would be worth my mother's life. Come on, man. Don't say that about Terry. I love her, but this is pretty good baklava. Wow. Sam and crew, thank you so much for the hospitality. We'll see you guys again very soon. Guys, check them out. So good. Before they like take over the world, then it's impossible to get in there. And the door, <sighs> you, there's a million people in line. Get in there early. Say number six with cheese sent you. Maybe good things will happen. Or maybe not. The cones of Dunshire.